Hi folks, Colin here from Commerce Gears. Welcome back to part four of our Adrenaline and WPML uh, setup and configuration tutorial. So just to pick up where we left off, part three, um, just to show you, uh, we were just talking about translating strings for the Adrenaline theme. It's gonna quickly just jump over to another instance of Adrenaline that we've already uh, spent considerable time setting up uh, all the strings. So um, if I go back into my string translation, so just to show you very briefly where we are right now on our new uh, setup is that nothing is translated. You can see here, bar the one example I did in part three, which is in there somewhere here. If I just jump back to my other instance, you'll see we've translated every single string associated with the adrenaline theme. So you can you can cut aside set aside at least a few hours just to go through and do this. Um, just to pick a random one, just to give you an example. Maybe something like update cart. So you'll see for the moment I've just added placeholders for these. Um, reviews. See again we've got placeholders for something like checkout. Sorry, the next one here. Yeah, you can see we've got placeholders. So again, this is me just going through this process rather than actually having to learn all these languages. Um, you'll see in some cases we have, have actually added in uh, the actual string values. Trust me, folks. Um, so that's job one. Job two, uh, the very next thing you're gonna wanna do once you have your strings complete, is you're gonna to wanna to set up some pages for your additional languages. Now I'm not gonna go into that in full detail in this tutorial. Uh, WPML's documentation covers that off in better detail than I could ever do in this tutorial set. Um, but just to briefly show you, so your WordPress interface will have changed as a result of installing WPML. You now have additional options. So you'll see flags for each language version and you'll see little plus icons under underneath allowing you to add content for your respective languages. Um, the first thing you probably want to do is add um, language versions for your homepage, which in my case is homepage default. So clicking the plus icon will allow me to add the French version. What I'll do just briefly is copy in the content from English. So as we're using Visual Composer, you can see we have a lot of extraneous markup in here. I'll switch on the back end editor. Dismiss the distraction for your notification. Um, and I'll just again put French as a placeholder value. So I'm just going to publish that. I'm going to do the same for Spanish. So you can see now I've got an edit option on the French version I've just created. Let's go ahead and do the same for Spanish. And again, I'm just going to import from English to get us started. And let's save that, publish it. Of course, you're going to want to spend a lot more time to actually physically translate the content within this page. Now, why have I done that? Because the very next thing I want to do is I want to assign home pages for my two new languages. So I'll go back into settings and reading. You can see your blog page does not exist or translation is not published in Spanish or French. Let's see now we assign it. It's picked up the home page by default. Oh, sorry. My apologies. Mistake. I picked up just to quickly show you. Yeah, thank you. 
build PML, you spotted my mistake and what I should have actually done before I come in here was done the same for our blog page. Switch back to English. Let's do the same here. I'll go ahead and publish that. And we'll do the same for the Spanish. Okay. So now let's go back to our reading settings. Uh, we should change this to now be our blog. And let's do the same for French. Remember, we've already got the English values for these set up from a previous instance. So you can see it's correctly picked that up. So you always want to make sure that they're set correctly just to start. Obviously you need to do the same for every single page and post, but these are just really just to get you up and running, folks. So I'm going to conclude uh, part four here, and uh, let's make sure you come back for part five, uh, where we'll take uh, things a little uh, bit deeper.